Greetings YouTubers. Uh, today we have a small question here. We have to find the area of this blue uh, colored part here. And um, we are going to use this circle here. We have been given AB is equal to 4 and uh, AC is equal to 8 units. So they are asking us to find the blue colored area in square units. Okay. We are going to redraw this one and uh, get some space. So if we redraw it, we have another figure here. We extended um, the radius of the circuit to make it to show the diameter. You know that AB is equal to 4 and also AC is equal to 8. And uh, the idea is to find first the radius of this uh, circle here. You know that we have uh, the tangent perpendicular to uh, the radius, 90 degrees here, and then the radius is R, R, R. So we have two methods we can use here. We are going to uh, first use the tangent sequence theorem uh, and find the value of r as a first method so we can say that af af times ab is equal to AC squared. This is the tangent sequence theorem. We are just using, we showed it in another video. So if we plug in the values, what is AF? According to our figure, is 2 times R, the diameter, plus 4. And then times AB is equal to 4, is equal to 8 squared. So we just do the distribution here. 8R plus 16 is equal to 64. And 8R is equal to 64 minus 16. 8R will be 48. So we divide both sides by 8. We get R is equal to 48 over 8, which gives us six units okay so now we have the radius using this uh, um, tangent second theorem uh, we could also use another method if you look at the figure if we look at the right triangle o c a or a o a c we have r as the height and r plus four as the hypotenuse and then 8 as the other leg okay so we can use the Pythagorean theorem we could say that if we add the squares of the two legs that means r squared plus 8 squared, get the square of the hypotenuse, which will be r plus 4 squared. If we develop that, we calculate, we get the same equation, we get r is equal to uh, 6. So now that we have r, we are going to concentrate on finding um, the colored area and the initial figure. And if you look, look at the drawing here, if you have the right triangle OAC, you see this is the area we want to find. If you have the OAC and you subtract the circular sector that I colored here, you will get the difference will be uh, our colored area. So this is exactly what we are going to do. So area triangle of 
OAC minus area of the circular sector OBC will give us what we are looking for. So let's go ahead and calculate these two values. So for the triangle, right triangle OAC, we can say it, we can take R as the height and then the base is 8. So we can say 1 half of 6 times 8 is equal to 24 units squared. So that is the area of our triangle OAC. Now we have to find the area of our sector. Okay. That requires us to find the angle alpha. We divide alpha by 360 degrees and then times pi r squared will give us um, the area. So if we plug in r, we get alpha over 360 times 36 pi that we simplify get alpha pi over 10 but what is alpha so all well, the question is how to find alpha uh, we know that sine alpha is equal to opposite side over the hypotenuse so we can say sine alpha is equal to 8 over 10 it is 0 0.8 that is roughly giving us alpha as 53 degrees 53.13 which gives which has a sinus of 0 0.8 degrees here so we can say if we plug in alpha now area of the sector or the total area actually we are looking for is equal to area of the uh, triangle minus area of our sector is 53 times 13 times pi over 10 is equal to 24 minus 5.313 pi if we calculate that we just find our colored area so the colored area here is simply a 7.31 roughly okay unit squared thank you for watching and see you in the next video